Today is Sunday, December 27th. It would have been the 27th day of my Vlogmas challenge, but I ended that on the 24th. So today is just the 25th vlog of this episode. I'm over here at Memorial Middle School with my dog playing catch a little bit, Sage. Um, I skipped out on the Christmas day and the 26th because I just had a lot of fun spending time with my family. We went to see Wonder Woman 1984 on the 25th. And yesterday I went rock climbing for four hours with Pete and Taka and Anna and Lisa. We had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Today, this morning, I went running with Bob. We ran 3.8 miles, did a bunch of pull-ups. Bob is my 81-year-old friend, which if you haven't met Bob, check out my vlog 12 of my Vlogmas Challenge, December 12th, uh, where I introduced Bob and I think we went on a three-mile run that day. Today we're going to be looking at Misogi no Jo, the full thing. The, the 24th, I did the third part briefly, which I'll go over the third part today. The 23rd, I did the second part. And the 21st, I did the first part. So today I'm gonna to try to stitch those three parts together for you. I'll go over the third part a little bit and then stitch together part one, part two, part three, so that you can practice this, learn it. And the ultimate goal, of course, is for you to become better at Aikido. When you see the whole world shaking oh, and you feel your heart Sage is breaking, it. take my hand, no hesitation. Sage missed the ball. I'm going to have to go get the ball and throw it again. I'm running for the ball. When you're just so tired Sage, of trying, the ball. I'm gonna get it before I get it. She knows where I'm running. Ha! No nice. There's a lot of fun playing catch your face. So for part three, we started right here. We ended part two right here, so we're starting part three right here for the misogi. We switch, we turn our hips, come up, bring this joe around over your head, and you're just gonna go mid-level strike all the way around, right? All the way around until you come to this position in Kamai with your left foot forward. You grip the joe with your left hand, you twist your hips, bring the joe up and you'd ski and let's pretend this is north ski north you turn your hips step forward with the left foot ski again north then push and ski south then you're going to turn your hips and ski east then ski west and then you're going to turn again skiing west east then you're going to put your hand up like this like up palm up you're gonna step forward over your head, and this is a head section strike, so this is a high strike all the way around. You pull the jaw all the way around your head and you put it in your hand right here like this and you end. And that is the end of the misogi. That's the third part, misogi no jo, the end. So let me do it just a little bit faster so you guys can get, take note of it again. So this comes up, this goes right into your hand here. As you turn your hips, you come around, you swing, you grab the jaw. You pick it up, ski, 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 and then all the way around, head section, all the way around, and you end here in Kamai with your knees bent like that. So now, let's go ahead and string the three parts together. I'll do it kind of slow this time. Now remember we started, we started here bending our knees, turning the jaw up, coming around, up, and pushing it up straight into the sky, coming straight down, bending your knees, coming up all the way around to here. Ski one, ski two, up, showman, showman, straight back, ski, come around, ski, up, showman, showman, dip the jaw down, bring it around, bring it up, ski, up, yokomenuchi. Pull it down, 
get down, flip the jolt, load ski, up, yoko men to the knee, and then down to your knee, bring it up. That's the end, that was the, uh, I think that was the first and the second part. Bring the jolt up, ski, this is the second part. Ski, up, showman, showman, down, jodan, down, jodan, nikyo, nikyo, bring the jo up, ski, sankyo, sankyo, up again, this time down to your knee, and this is the third part, come up, all the way around, strike, come up, ski, 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 and then all the way around in the, in the kamae, ending right here. Okay, that is the full misogi no jo. Oh, that's a good workout. And again, remember, this is all about building the lower body. So getting those strikes, the skis, the showmans, the yokomens, that's all easy. You're gonna spend a day doing that and the rest of your life trying to work on the body. Think of it as if you're being attacked all around and this little dance that you're doing is to protect yourself all around, whether someone's coming from behind you or on the sides of you or in front of you or on the angles. The whole idea is to protect yourself all around. Let's do it again one more time. I'll try to go a little bit slower. So we're here from the hips. Remember, make that movement from the hips. Up, down, all the way around. Okay, now you're gonna ski twice. One, two, up, showman twice. One, two, this goes straight back at ski, straight behind you. Flip it around, ski, that's the second ski. Up, showman twice. One, two, now you're gonna turn your hips, drop this down like this. Pick it up, come the, over with the hand here. Ski, up, yoko menuchi. Boom, bring it back. Geidan, flip the jo, load ski. Up, yoko men down to your knee. And pull it back. Start turning that hip, bring the jo up. This is a ski. You're gonna flip this around. Ski again. Shomen twice, one, two, pull it back. Jodan twice, one, two, bring it up. Shomen Nikyo twice, up one, two, pull it up, ski, now we're doing Sankyo, one, twice, two, and this one's just one more up, this goes straight down, now you pick it up, you go around and you just side, side, this is like a middle strike to here, pick the Joe up, ski, turn around, ski, straight behind you, ski, to the east, ski, to the west, ski, to the west, ski, to the east, ski, and then head section all the way around, and you end right here in Kamai. Gosh, I hope you guys got that. One of the important things to remember, and one of the things that's gonna make you better at Aikido, is building good habits. Deliberate practice is a habit that you build. Focusing on trying to improve every single time you do the movement, you're not trying to make this automatic. You're not trying to make it so that, oh, yeah, this is just an automatic movement and I'm just doing this movement automatically, boom, 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 like that, right? That's not what this is about. This is about deliberately, every single time you do that movement, you're burning that into your body and into your mind and trying to make it better and better and better. If your legs aren't burning when you do this, if you're, you're not getting tired and winded, you're not focusing your mind enough. And that's going to help you improve your Aikido. Guys, if you did that with me, congratulations. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. That concludes this video. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video where we will probably start working on some sword work or maybe continue doing some staff. I mean, the weather is so beautiful. The staff is something you really have to do outside because it'll hit the ceiling, uh, but maybe the sword. Guys, congratulations on finishing this video. I'll see you soon.